ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate. This is a really cool lab, okay? For adults less than 50 years old, our normal value is gonna be zero to 15. As an adult ages 50 years and older, we're looking at zero to 20. So simply by knowing the name of this lab, ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate, right? We know erythrocytes are red blood cells and sedimentation, we can think about that kind of coming together, falling to the bottom, etc. So really what erythrocyte sedimentation rate is, it's a measure of the rate of sedimentation of red blood cells, okay? And what this is really based upon is it's based upon the fact that proteins in the blood become changed, okay, by inflammatory process and a necrotic process. And what this ha what this causes, it causes all these red blood cells, these erythrocytes to stick together. And they be as they stick together, they become really heavy and they start to fall to the bottom of a tube. Okay, and so that's really how we measure this is as these blood cells or due to inflammation these blood cells become heavier, these proteins become inflamed, and they stick together, they fall to the bottom. And so that's how we can really, that's why we use ESR to measure inflammatory process in the body. Okay, so that's what we're really looking at is inflammatory process in the body. The problem is ESR isn't specific to a condition, okay? So we don't get our ESR and say, okay, boom, we know what's going on here. Okay, but what it does is it, it's one of the earliest indicators of widespread inflammation, okay? So we can run it and we can find out really quickly there's something going on here that we need to investigate further and we need to really look at. So it's gonna be increased obviously in inflammatory diseases, myocardial infarction, anemia, Crohn's disease, endocarditis, uh, nephritis. So if you're thinking these inflammatory processes, right? Rheumatic fever, rheumatoid arthritis. So we're gonna see it in, increased in these inflammatory type conditions. So while this is not a specific lab, it's a very important lab to quickly and early identify uh, inflammatory conditions, inflammatory diseases, and be able to give the provider and the nursing staff and everything what they need to go and start targeting what's going on and try to figure out more what's going on with this patient. So again, our normal value for patients less than 50 years old will be 0 to 15, and for patients older than 50, it's going to be 0 to, to, to 20.